Hey, before we get into this earth-shattering story, let's introduce the sponsor of this video, Astro Kings. Get set to blast off with the most intense multiplayer experience this side of the galaxy. In this real-time sci-fi mobile game, you control the fate of humanity in deep space. The Crux have invaded your planet, and now they're coming for your colony. Do you have what it takes to survive? Rebuild the world back to glory, manage your colony, and collect legendary galactic heroes to complete missions and lead your group into victory and conquest. It doesn't matter if you're using an iOS device, Android, or Windows, you can join with other players now to create powerful alliances and battle in epic MMO and PvP battles. Download the game by clicking the link in the description below or scan the QR code. Get on board, Commander. We have a galaxy to save. And now, it's time to change the face of the planet. Millions of years ago, all the continents were one, waiting to crack and spread into the world we know today. Thing is, Earth's ground is constantly moving, so how about we fast forward and bring two of them back together? South America and Africa. If these two land masses fused together, how disastrous would that be? What new animal species would it create? And why would this union be more of a reunion? This is what if. And here's what would happen if South America and Africa joined together. 300 million years ago, there was just one continent on our planet, Pangaea. But this supercontinent was not meant to last. That's because the rigid outermost shell of Earth's crust, the lithosphere, is broken up into several plates. These plates are floating on top of the mantle, which means that they can move. And they do. As a result of the mantle shifting, Pangaea broke up in phases. From these pieces, several smaller supercontinents were formed, only to also eventually break apart. One of them was Gondwana, some of which was what we now know as Africa and South America. During the time when dinosaurs still roamed the globe, this massive landmass was covered in rainforests. But its division started when these future regular continents started to drift apart. When this all ended, the South Atlantic Ocean stood between them. But hold on, since these plates continue to move, there's a possibility that these two continents will meet again. Of course, you don't have a couple hundred million years to wait for this to happen, so let's fast track it. If you lived to see these two continents merge, what would this epic reunion look like? Now, normally, continents move at a speed of one and a half centimeter per year. Assuming Africa and South America met halfway in the South Atlantic Ocean, it would take them 230 million years to join. So let's say the mantle beneath them was especially restless due to unprecedented circumstances on our planet. This would violently shake the plates of these two continents and push them toward each other. Now, even if they only traveled about as fast as us humans tend to walk, a mere speed of 1.3 meters per second, well then Africa and South America would reunite in about 30 days. Uh, yeah, it would be quite the shaky journey, literally causing massive earthquakes on both continents. And month-long earthquakes uh, aren't fun. but. You gotta admit, that's a fair price to witness the formation of Afro-America. All right, it may not be the coolest of names, but it'll do for this video. This new supercontinent would automatically become the largest in the world, 
one and a half times bigger than Asia. And the countries making the cross-ocean move would have to deal with new neighbors. Nigeria and Cameroon would now border Brazil. Uruguay would be side by side with Angola, while Argentina would border South Africa. And a brand new mountain range would form between the two sections of Afro-America. This would provide a natural border between nations, which might help ease potential tensions about land distribution. Unfortunately, these kind of elevations can take many millions of years to form. So in the meantime, eh, countries would have to resort to diplomacy to figure out their borders. Just imagine living in Brazil. Now, sure, you'd experience an influx of cultures and a potential boom in tourism, but on the other hand, I'd box away most of your swimwear because all of the country's coastal regions would cease to exist. And that's going to bring an end to the beach culture that's integral to its lifestyle. Afro-America would also be quite the exporter of goods. South America alone produces and sells a vast array of foods, from sugar to bananas, beef and corn, add to that fuel and raw materials. Now, Africa is no slouch either. They export textiles and clothing as well as all things related to petroleum. And let's not forget that it supports the second largest mineral industry in the world. And with renewable energy on the rise, many of these minerals like copper and nickel would grow in demand. But then there's the issue of animal migration. With no mountains in their way, species unique to each continent could start to spread into new territories. Go camping in the Amazon forest and you could cross paths with an African elephant, a hippopotamus, or a spotted hyena. And open your window in Nigeria and you could spot a sloth, a capybara, or even a giant anteater in your garden. Of course, you'd also come across unusual plants and insects. Now, if you're a nature freak, this crossover might sound exciting, but it would be nothing but bad news for regional ecosystems. The newly arrived species would become predators, competitors, and parasites of native plants and animals. Not to mention potential disease spreaders. All of that would threaten biodiversity. It would take a long time before a new equilibrium is found in the bordering regions. But once things were settled, some species might interbreed and new animal hybrids could emerge. We already have lepons, ligers, and beefaloes. We could see more of those, but it would take thousands of years. Now, on a more positive note, Afro-America might host a great cultural reunion to go along with its geographical reconnection. After all, there is already a shared connection between the two continents. Going back as far as the early 1500s, many of the enslaved Africans that were forcefully removed from their countries were transported to South America. And like it happened then, the meeting of these two continents would spur a cultural exchange. Oh, and don't forget the languages. Some brand new languages could emerge over time, like a mix of Spanish and Zulu in Argentina. But let's go back to those one month long earthquakes. You know, if they're the only thing that would create Afro-America, well, maybe there would be very little left to reunite. And that's barring the possibilities of the tremors going on for way, way longer. Like, I'm talking about a full year. Now, that's a story for another What If. And don't forget, click on the link below to download Astro Kings to begin your space conquest.